Okay. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, so I praise and thank God for this opportunity to uh, speak to you guys today. And um, I'd like to start off by reading Psalms 118 verses 1 through 9. It says, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Let Israel say his love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say his love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say his love endures forever. In my anguish, I cried out to the Lord, and he answered, my, answered by setting me free. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? The Lord is with me. He is my helper. I will look in triumph on my enemies. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. My first point is that you can count on God in trouble. The Psalms from verses 1 through 4 starts off by giving thanks to God and acknowledging his love for his people. Psalms 100 verse 4 tells us to enter his gates with thanksgiving in our hearts and his courts with praise. We, us um, people who know God, we should be thankful to God because of his abundance of love, his goodness, and his faithfulness towards us. Um, one point in verse 5 is um, you, can, you can call upon the Lord in the time of your need. Philippians 4, 6 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. You have to go to your secret place and pray to God, and don't push God away, because sometimes you might feel like, like when you don't feel good or some bad situations are happening, you just don't want anyone to be near you. You might want to try to isolate yourself or push people away, but God is a God who can take the weight of what we are carrying and has a solution to every single problem that we face. He wants to embrace you, especially in the, these times and the situations. Um, when you call upon the Lord, the Lord will answer you and set you free. Our God is a prayer answering God and he will answer your prayers. So uh, keep praying. And it says in the Bible to pray without ceasing. Um, free, the verse where it says um, he will set you free, free in the dictionary means no longer confined or imprisoned. And if there's anything that you need breakthrough in your life or if there's something that you need to be released from, then let God take control. The presence of uh, God is the place to go and Jesus Christ is a person to go to. Um, this is how you let God take control, is by sitting in his presence and talking with him. And um, he will answer you and he will set you free. Uh, from verse six, when you call upon the Lord, it doesn't matter how big the problem is, or how um, wide the mountain is, it doesn't matter how uh, it doesn't matter like how difficult the problem is. You just have to say that God is my strength and I will not be afraid. You have to say it and believe it and have confidence in God that He will do all things in the moment of the time that you need defend defending, and He will defend you. Um, and it says, "What can man do to me?" Uh, nothing. They can't do anything to you. They can laugh and they can criticize you. They can try to break you, but really there's nothing that can separate you from the love of God and the grace of God. And in the middle of the situation where you, in the middle of the situation is where you can see the presence of God working because God is for us. Uh, my second point is that we can count on God when we cannot count on anyone else. When you are in a mess or in trouble, you may think that there is no one who you can count on or who you can go to, but that's not true. You are never alone. Verse 7 says that you can go to the presence of God and pray and he will send help because our God is the helper. Um, people will fail you and let you down, but God will not. Um, verse 8 says, that it is better to take refuge in God and better to trust in God and not in princes. 
or people of this world. Uh, Psalms 20 verse 7 talks about how some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord. Um, the people who trust in these worldly things or in other people, they do, it's like foolishness because chariots, chariots will get washed away and people make mistakes all the time, but the name of the Lord will stand forever. Jesus' name is powerful and you can get through anything standing against you by looking to God and believing in the name of Jesus Christ. So in summary, I'd like to conclude that what can man do to me? Man can kill the body, but not the soul um, and cannot separate us from the love of Jesus Christ. So we give thanks to our God who is good and whose mercy and love endures forever. Uh, God is for you and he is not against you. Um, you can always call upon the name of the Lord. He will hear your prayer and answer you. You can count on God in the middle of the trouble. He is the best place and person of refuge. And you can count on God even when you cannot count on anything else or anyone else. May God bless you with these words.